No collusion, no obstruction, no nothing. <laughs> Marcus Conti reporting on the William Barr. William Barr releases the letter to Congress about what was in the Mueller report. We got a summary. We got a summary. Oh, boy, we got a summary. Let's find out what happened. So here's the letter. March 24th, 2019, a letter. It's four pages, and again, it concludes absolutely nothing. So let's go through uh, some of the pieces here. So it's, uh, again, it's um, addressed to the four big wigs in Congress. Uh, Dear Chairman, so on Friday, the special counsel submitted to me a confidential report explaining the prosecution or declination decision. He has reached blah, blah, blah. This report is entitled... Report on the investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election. Although my review is is ongoing, I believe that it is in the public interest to describe the the report and to summarize the principal conclusions reached by the special counsel and the results of its investigation. Two and a half years later, we've got got our answer. Trump, 100% vindicated. 100%. So... The report explains that the special counsel and his staff thoroughly investigated allegations that members of the presidential campaign of Donald J. Trump and others associated with it conspired with the Russian government in an effort in efforts to interfere in the 2016 presidential election or sought to obstruct the related federal investigations. In the report, the special counsel, counsel noted that it com- it complete in completing his investigation He had 19 lawyers, 40 FBI agents, 28 subpoenas, 2,800 subpoenas, executed 500 search warrants, 230 orders of communication, 50 uh, orders authorizing use of pen registrations, made 13 requests to foreign governments, and interviewed 500 witnesses. So making the case that the, that the the investigation was thorough because the Democrats are now going to line up and say, he didn't do his job. Now, uh, Robert Mueller is about to become enemy number one. The special counsel obtained a number of indictments and convictions of individuals and entities in connection with his investigation, all of which have been publicly disclo- disclosed. During the course of his investigation, special, special counsel also referred several matters to other offices for further investigation. The report does not recommend any further indictments, nor did the special counsel obtain any sealed indictments that have yet to be made public. All right, so that was a, that was a big argument, a big uh, uh, point of argument that that the that they couldn't indict a sitting president, that the indictment was sealed, or there were sealed indictments or sh- indictments. No, he, can, he confirms that there are no other indictments involving Trump or his affiliates or anybody else for that matter in this uh, in this witch hunt. Russian interference, right? So the number one, Russian interference in the 2016 presiden- presidential election. The special counsel's report is divided into two parts. First describes the results of the special counsel's investigation into Russian interference. The report outlines that the Russian effort to influence the election and documents crimes committed by persons associated with the Russian government in connection with those efforts. The report further explains that a primary consideration of the special counsel's investigation was was whether any Americans, including individuals associated with the Trump campaign, joined the Russian conspiracies, joined the Russian conspiracies to influence the election, which would be a federal crime. That was the point of the thing, right? To find out if Trump or any other American colluded, conspired with, joined the Russian government to influence the election. Right. So, as the report states, the investigation did not establish th- that members, the special counsel investigated, did not find that the Trump campaign or anyone associated with it 
com- conspired or coordinated with Russia in its efforts to influence the 2016 presidential election. Right there, that's the whole thing right there. Right? That that should we should we could close the file right now, but we'll keep going. The special counsel's investigation did not find that the Trump campaign or anyone associated with it conspired or coordinated with Russia in its efforts to influence the 2016 U.S. presidential election. As the report states, the investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in its election interference activity. Okay, so there there you go. So all of the, the left can now melt and cry and say, uh, you know, Mueller didn't do his job. Did Mueller do his job, right? No, 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 there's more. No, he didn't see. He can't see what we see. Uh, so confirmed. <clears throat> Mueller's investigation now confirms no collusion, no no Trump uh, uh, coordination with Russia whatsoever. The special counsel's investigation determined that there were uh, there were two main Russian efforts efforts to influence the 2016 election. Now, here's where we're going to go into silly season, right? Did the Russians really hack the DNC? There's really, there was never any evidence to suggest that that's what happened. So we'll continue with Guccifer and all that shit. But let's just hear what they have to say. The first involved, see, here, here's the deal, right? The big move covers the little move, right? The big move is, is, is Russia colluded with Trump. The little move is that the Russians hacked the DNC, hacked the election, right? The big move, Russia and Trump. And then the little move is to, to, to fudge the fact that, that it wasn't the Russians that hacked the election and gave it to WikiLeaks. It was the inside leak. So big move, little move. Let's just, let's just view it in that sense. So the first, uh, the first involved attempts by the Russian government the Internet Research Agency, IRA, <clears throat> we're hearing this for the first time, to conduct disinformation and social media operations in the United States designed to sow social, to sow social discord, eventually with the aim of interfering with the election. As noted above, the special counsel did not find any U.S. person or Trump campaign official or associate conspiring or knowingly coordinating with the IRA in its efforts, although the special counsel brought criminal charges against a number of Russian nationals and entities in connection with these activities. Yeah, right. A bunch of of indictments about about a bunch of Russians that will never be brought to justice. It's, that's, that's bullshit, right? So IRA, who even knows what it means? Who even knows who these people are? All for the first time we're hearing this. The second element involved the Russian government's effort to conduct computer hacking operations designed to gather and disseminate information to influence the election. The special counsel found that Russian government actors successfully hacked into computers and obtained emails from persons affiliated with the Clinton campaign and Democratic Party organizations and publicly disseminated those materials through various intermediaries, including WikiLeaks. Based on these activities, the special counsel brought criminal charges against a number of Russian military officers for conspiring to hack into computers in the United States for the purpose of influencing the election. But as noted above, the special counsel did not find that the Trump campaign or anyone associated with it conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in these efforts, despite multiple offers from Russian affiliates affiliated individuals to assist the Trump campaign. So that says that the that there was somebody trying to pepper Trump and his team to coordinate at some point, right? And the Trump people just said, fuck you, we don't need your help. If you have dirt on Hillary Clinton, we'll take it, we'll look at it. But we don't we don't need your help, right? That's what that says, right? But it also confirms, according to Mueller, Mueller is now on the record saying that the, they have confirmed that Russia hacked the DNC servers. I just, again, fundamentally disagree. Right? Although Trump is vindicated, this, this, impl- this, still, this still vindicates the Democratic Party for, for cheating. It, it totally vindicates, it vindicates in, in the sense that 
it confirms that Russia hacked the DNC, which the evidence does not suggest that it did. We should, if we were going to see the whole report, let's see how you made that determination because the, the evidence on the ground was that CrowdStrike came in, scrubbed the servers, and that it was in fact a dump, an actual physical dump to WikiLeaks, the creator of WikiLeaks, the publisher of WikiLeaks kind of alluded to that and kind of confirmed exactly who it was. And his name was Seth Rich. All right, so there's, there's the uh, contradiction there. So let's move on to obstruction of justice. This is, this is a, a, a nothing burger. Obstruction of justice is when someone's coming at you hard, you, if you tell a fib or you, you don't give the whole truth, and then, and then you get caught in the web of, 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 uh, of uh, perjury, right, basically. And that's what they tried mostly to get Trump caught up in, right? And he didn't fall for it. So, so here's the second part, and I'll wrap it up. The report's second part addresses a number of actions by the president, most of which have been the subject of public reporting that the special counsel investigated as potentially raising obstruction of justice concerns. After making a thorough factual investigation into these matters, special counsel considers whether to evaluate the conduct under department standards. The special counsel therefore did not draw a conclusion or way or the uh, one way or the other as to whether the examined conduct constituted obstruction, right? Instead, for each of the relevant actions investigated, the report sets out evidence on both sides of the question and leaves unresolved what the special counsel views, uh, views as difficult issues of law. The special counsel states that while this, re- while this report does not conclude that the president committed a crime, it also does not exonerate him. So basically, the special counsel is, is, is not taking a stance, and he's allowing the attorney general to make that call. Now, let's see what the attorney general, what call he makes. 100% vindication. The special counsel's decision is described to describe the facts of his obstruction investigation without reaching any legal conclusions leaves it to the attorney general to make that determination whether the conduct described in the report constitutes a crime. Over the course of the investigation, the special counsel's office engaged in discussions with certain department officials regarding many of the legal and factual matters at issue. After reviewing the special counsel's final report on these issues, consulting with the department officials, including office, the Office of Legal Counsel, and applying the principles of federal prosecution and guide, and guide, that guide our charging decisions, Deputy Atten- uh, Attorney General Rob Rosenstein and I have concluded that the evidence developed during the special counsel's investigation is not sufficient to establish that the president committed an obstruction of justice offense. So that's the end of it. I'll read that sentence again. After reviewing the special counsel's final report on these issues of obstruction, consulting with the department officials, including the Office of Legal Counsel, and applying the principles of federal prosecution that guide our charging decisions, Attorney General Rosenstein and I have concluded that the evidence developed during the special counsel's investigation is not sufficient to establish that the president committed an obstruction of justice offense. Our determination was made without regard to and is not based on the constitutional consideration that surrounded the indictment and criminal prosecution of a sitting president. So that wipes out that one. The other one was the, the sh- oh no, he can't, he can't indict a, a, a sitting president. That's why there was no indictments. And then the indictments are coming. Now you know. Our determination was made without regard to and is not based on the constitutional consideration that surrounds, surrounded the indictment and criminal prosecution of a sitting president. So there is no other indictments. There is nothing else sealed or in the makes or coming down the pipe. It's over. In making this determination, we noted that the special counsel recognized that the evidence does not establish that the president was involved in an underlying crime related to the Russian election interference, and that while not determ- determinative, the absence of such evidence bears upon the president's intent with respect to obstruction. 
All right, so it's just a lot of other federal, a lot of other um, jargon here. Give it, okay, so it, it talks, um, so that's that's really it, right? So signed William P. Barr. So no Russian collusion slash uh, coordination slash spying slash pay for play slash anything in go- regarding any American citizen, any American citizen or anyone is, uh, is, uh, involved with the Trump campaign. No obstruction as per the will, as per the attorney general statement and the assistant, the deputy Deter- uh, attorney general, Rod Rosenstein, there is no obstruction whatsoever. Wow. So two years later, two and a half years later, big witch hunt. All right, so the only the only real what we already knew, what we knew for certain was that that Trump had this was a witch hunt, this was a fabricated story that originated from Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential run, John Podesta, Robbie Mook, right? That was the source of this lie, of this this blatant fucking lie, right? And it it evolved into it first started with Bernie Sanders that that the Russians hacked the election when they were dumping the the Podesta's emails on WikiLeaks and everybody was reading them, right? It started there, and then as it as it evolved, as Hillary Clinton stole the nomination, they just put the 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 um, story of RussiaGate on Trump, right? It, it, originally, it was it was designed for Sanders, right? And then and then they fit it on Trump. So there there is no there is no, there's nothing that, that puts Trump and Russian collusion. That is now off the table. Right? It was a big fat lie. What we are stuck with is the assessment of, of uh, Robert Mueller and his team that Russia hacked the DNC servers. That's what he's saying, that they were able to access the DNC and and funnel that information, those emails, to WikiLeaks and other people. Right? That, in my view, is still a lie and has not, there's no evidence that, that we could have seen, that we saw in plain view. All of the evidence, again, supports a conclusion that the emails were, in fact, stolen from inside, from somebody, and dumped. There's no evidence whatsoever of any Russian there's no testimony, there's no, there's no nothing. There's no FBI follow-up. Nothing was ever made clear to us in two and a half years. But we do have, we do have a, a, a testimony, in-court testimony, that the DNC did, in fact, rig the primary against Bernie Sanders. That we know for a fact. They said it in open court in the DNC for a lawsuit with Jared and Elizabeth Beck. We know for sure that there was election fraud. And that's what the big that's what the big move of Trump Russia collusion really covers. The small move is that the Democratic Party cheated in 2016 and got caught and created a story of Russian collusion. And that is the fact and that is that is ultimately the takeaway that the Democratic regardless of regardless of who hacked what the content of the emails the content of the emails is the most powerful and damaging you, you know piece of information that the democratic party really really did cheat sanders uh, out of the nomination and cheated to you know 40 million people out of their money who supported sanders uh, marcus conti reporting